there were no websites. There was no email, there was no texting, there was no Instagram, no Twitter. There was, for, for us to try to reach Americans, we had to use broadcast media and uh, that meant we had to get past the gatekeepers and the intermediaries and, and get stories placed. But we got that support in the place where all the news media were. So you're sitting at your desk at, say, Time Magazine, you look out your window and there's a crowd that's more than a million people. The largest demonstration ever in the city of New York, or ever up till that time. It turns out Earth Day 1990 was even bigger. But the largest demonstration that had ever been seen. Um, and you're getting all this stuff in from stringers across the country talking about how this, what they're doing in Denver, what they're doing in Chicago, what they're doing in San Francisco. And then you see from the Associated Press an estimate that the national crowd was more than 20 million people. And suddenly you've got this event that crystallizes, comes together, and leaves behind a memory and a legacy of what it was. And there's no way that you could predict or manipulate all of those things. They just happened to come together in a way that, um, that took a set of issues that basically didn't exist uh, two years earlier and turn them into one of the most important political issues in America. We've got to pull together as a species with these issues that are so much more important than the silly cultural and national issues that divide us.